You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 2022 event. And I'm pleased to say that joining me now is Laurent Leboucher, who is Group CTO and SVP of Orange Innovation Networks, and also a TIP board member. Laurent, very good to see you again. Good morning. Can I, first of all, ask you, why is Orange a participant in TIP? Well, TIP is a very important uh, partner uh, for Orange. We, uh, we've been working with TIP uh, for uh, quite a few years. We started in 2016, uh, and uh, we've in, been involved in different areas. With, uh, uh, we co-chair uh, today the Open Run uh, program. We co-chair also uh, the Open Core, and we are also strongly involved uh, in the optical and packet uh, uh, stream as well. Uh, so we are involved in different areas, and we try to bring a lot of contributions. But we strongly believe that we need uh, TIPA to help us uh, really master uh, the, the new way to deliver networks which need to become more open, uh, more agile, and also more disaggregated. Well, as you say, you're very involved in TIP. Um, can you tell us instances of how your involvement in TIP has helped with some of the challenges you face as a company? Well, typically, uh, we believe that TIP uh, has a very uh, pragmatic approach and uh, we want to use it, and we have already used it uh, in different uh, operational situations. One of them is the use of uh, the GNPY tool, uh, which helps us a lot uh, to do the design and the planning of uh, optical networks. And we use, in, in, uh, we use it in different places uh, within uh, Orange Group. And we believe it's a an excellent uh, solution. Uh, we are also, uh, we strongly believe that uh, we can use the blueprints uh, that uh, we are creating within TIP in the context of Open RAN. Uh, typically, Open RAN uh, has started to become, uh, uh, I mean, ready to be deployed uh, for some specific use cases, uh, typically for rural, rural uh, use cases, uh, also for uh, RAN sharing uh, in uh, rural places. So at first, uh, in small, uh, uh, probably uh, in, in uh, small scale at first, uh, but we believe that thanks to uh, TIP, we'll be able to address uh, those use cases very soon. And step by step, uh, we will address more uh, complex and sophisticated uh, use cases. Well, that, that's what you're, you're doing at the moment. And that's how TIP is helping you at the moment. But you know, if, if we look at the, the next steps, if we look over the, the, the coming years, what's next for you in your open and disaggregated journey? Well, we have a lot of uh, very interesting challenges. Uh, one of them is about to the way we will open um, uh, our networks uh, through APIs in order to monetize our network. So it could be an area where we, we could uh, uh, leverage uh, TIP practices uh, as well, working also together with uh, the Linux Foundation, with Camera Initiative. Uh, we believe also that uh, uh, we need to follow up uh, also in the journey to Open RAN. Open RAN has a long journey. Uh, it includes also not only uh, uh, the open frontal, but also it includes also uh, the, the cloud, uh, moving to the cloud, uh, but also uh, moving to the RIC and uh, being able to address uh, intelligence, uh, providing also, uh, I mean, uh, artificial intelligence uh, in the network uh, almost in real time. And I think this is a key challenge and we would like uh, to work uh, with, together with TIP uh, on those kind of challenges. Great. Well, you know, open and, disag and disaggregated networks are, are so important for all of us in the industry. But are there any other key areas that you think the industry and the TIP community should be focused on in the coming years? In the coming years? Uh, so as I said, uh, I believe that uh, in the coming years, uh, the RIC uh, is a key area and uh, we need a way to uh, uh, introduce uh, the different players, uh, innovative application players, uh, which will work together uh, with the RAN vendors uh, in order to create a, a rich ecosystem and TIP could help uh, doing that. Um, we believe also that uh, we have uh, challenges regarding uh, integration. So, uh, 
disaggregation uh, is good, is good for the industry, is good for innovation, but uh, at the same time, it uh, creates new challenges and especially how we can master uh, the integration of uh, full end-to-end -end solutions. So at the end of the day, uh, if we can uh, leverage uh, tip practices uh, using uh, integration hubs, integration centers, using blueprints and so on, it will help a lot, yes. Well, this leads on to my, my final question, uh, because you, I think you've covered part of that in, in your answer there, but I'd like to expand, if, if possible, on, and ask you what are the, the key challenges for the industry on this disaggregation journey? So, one of them, as I said, uh, is uh, uh, integration, because disaggregation means that at some point you need to aggregate and integrate again, uh, and you need to do it in a way which is uh, very agile. So you need to practice and uh, have the full ecosystem understand the full new CI-CD uh, pipeline, uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment. And I think it's a, it's a key challenge because it's not just a challenge for us as an operator, it's a challenge for us together with the different partners. So at the end of the day, it will be one pipeline with the different uh, vendors uh, and, and we need to uh, uh, create that new uh, network integration factory. So it's one challenge. Another challenge, I believe, is uh, the telco cloud uh, in itself. Today, very often I say that the telco cloud uh, is not there yet because we have different telco cloud solutions. Very often it comes in a way which is extremely similar, very similar each time, but with different flavors. So at the end of the day, you have a collection when you are an operator, you have a collection of different cloud working together. That doesn't make a telco cloud. It doesn't help us to be very agile and to deploy cloud native end-to-end -end services. So we need to have a more horizontal, homogeneous, and hopefully completely adopted by the, the whole industry. So I guess it should be open source. We need a, a, such a capability uh, and, and we don't have it yet. And last but not least, I think uh, skills uh, is perhaps the most important uh, topic uh, we, we are facing today. Uh, we need to transform the way we uh, uh, operate, the way we uh, uh, deliver the network. We need to learn the new practices, the new CICD, which comes from the, the IT world. So it's the IT world helping uh, also the network uh, uh, people. Uh, we need to create the good uh, uh, synergies between the two together. Uh, and it's not just a transformation within Orange, it's also a transformation uh, for the whole industry. It's a transformation which uh, impacts also our partners. And I guess it, it's a transformation on which we need to leverage, I think, uh, initiative like uh, the TIP Academy. Uh, TIP Academy is a good initiative, uh, uh, but we need to do, to do much more than that. Well, Laurent, we've done so much already, but there's still a, a lot of work, obviously, still to do. So we look forward to seeing the progress of TIP in the coming years. But for now, thank you very much for joining us and sharing your, your thoughts and views. You're welcome. Have a good day.